No time sheets, they had crime sheets. No Halloween, I've seen white sheets. You can hear the power when the gods speak. They gon' see the ghost, think of Tyreek. I'm in the book too. Used to travel with a zoo with me till he took two. Right, what time is it, man? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> took the world famous Hot 97. I'm gonna meet up with my bro, DJ Tony Tone. I'm gonna do my first interview on Hot 97. To God be the glory. It's nothing because of us. We just do what we what we were supposed to do, what we called to do. That's all we travel to do. Got delivered from my old ways. I'm a stranger to my old days. This is what you call change. God blessed on my old day. Tell me where was your praise? All praise. Hot 97 Street Glory. Sunday morning, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. And I got my God. Jared All Star. Yes, sir. Bro. You know the spirit? Bro. Listen, first, let's. Before we get into the album, let's let because there's some people that just don't even know who Jared All Star is. Yeah, it's true. Let's let's, let's give him a little bit. Who who is Jared All Star? I mean, uh, a choir boy. Like, that's, like, <laughs> a choir boy. No, um, I, I am a a lyricist, a, a true uh, hip hop head at, at heart. And, and I love Jesus, so that's why that's technically why I just do both. My music is very authentic to who I am, and I think that's something that I believe you heard when I dropped Water and Wine, which was like my first project ever where I, I put everything into it and combined ministry and music in that fashion. And um, just having yourself and other this people with this authentic heart that heard the music and heard what I was doing, what God was using me to do, it encouraged me, so I just kept going, and we've been taken off ever since then. yeah so so when i first heard your the first project right I, I don't even remember how i got it but i remember sitting at the computer and listening to it and i'm saying he said what he said what he put i'm like who is this guy i'm like and then every time you would put out a project it would be this you putting this with this and that and i'm saying to myself like this guy's brain is going like a thousand miles a minute. My, my father is a, a preacher. People know him and he's, he's a prophet. And I was given that gift as well. Okay. So I feel like the gift of the prophetic almost works in the mm. same way my freestyle does. Mm. There's this movie called Limitless. And in the movie, he pops a pill and everything slows down. And they got this part in the movie where he's writing a book and he's seeing the words as they kind of fall down from the sky. And that's almost how I feel when I freestyle. Bro, you you putting out albums at like a, a you gotta slow down. You know that, right? Mm. You gotta slow down. There's no slow down. You gotta problem. slow down. <laughs> like this, this has to be the third album I think you dropped within yeah. the past maybe three years. It, it, to be honest, the crazy part is we're about to speed up. We're about to speed up, and I and I I love it that is you that I get to tell this to first because we're we're putting out um, me and myself, my wife, and my boy Johnny, who has been featured on your show several times. Great rapper, Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> we're we're all doing a project called the Getting Money Money Haters. Mm. That's coming out this year as well. And then I do a project every Christmas. Every Christmas I I drop water and wine on Christmas. The first the gift yeah, and the yeah, calling yeah, um, yeah, EP on Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And this year we're going to drop another project on Christmas. So that's two more. Miss Beans in the building. You know I'm. You know I'm gonna play that song. Shout out to my wife. You, you know I'm gonna play that song. Play it. <laughs> Listen, when I tell you that song is fire, bro. You know what song I'm talking about, right? Oh yeah, I know exactly what oh, song okay, you're talking about. Okay, okay. It's so, called "Don't Let Me Go." For those who are wondering, you'll hear it soon, don't you? Mean, mean. Oh my goodness, mean. <laughs> oh, love it. So, the song that I've been playing uh, for a while now, "Blind Eyes." Yes. Right. Um, again, there are other songs on the project that I really enjoy, but that one just grabbed me. Like that, that one was just like an instant, like drop that one, Tom. Because there's another one you put up on, on on social media, and I'm like, what are you trying to do, bro? Like you put up a different song. <laughs> I'm trying to rock with Blind Eyes. You put up a different song. You get, you're gonna confuse me or make me choose. But Blind Eyes is, is, is what, what's the concept behind that song, man? Because that joins, that joins me. The crazy part is, and I think it always happens like this, Blind Eyes was the last song we recorded for the album. Mm. It was the last song we did. And after, and actually the person who's recording this video right now, my bro Prophet, he was the one that was at my crib. He came by the crib, he was like, I'm going to play you this album. 
I played him the whole album. I was like, but I ain't finished the last song yet. And I played him the beat. And he was like, this one's gonna be crazy. So then um, I was I was writing, I was doing the song. I was like, you know, I gotta put my wife on this. And my wife went crazy. If I didn't yes. have a record, please go listen yes. to the record. Yes. My wife went crazy. And then my boy Johnny, who I, I rap with often, he, we put him on it. So that song is my introduction to the world of the three of us because yeah, yeah. the getting money money haters club is just you know money is the root of all evil so we get it but we just don't love it yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's not about glorifying the money it's yeah, just yeah. understanding that it's it's okay to be to be wealthy and love christ they, they want you to be poor and this isn't yeah. prosperity right, 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 right. this is just fact we ain't answering a lot thinking we got to be poor and yeah, love yeah. jesus at the same time yeah. unfortunately there's a lot of confusion about what the word actually says yes you know, one of the things that my, my pastor, shout out to my pastor, A.R. Bernard, he says, um, you know, the, the word could be there, but it's how do you read it? And I never really thought about that. It's like every person is going to have a, it's the same word, but different people are going to have different interpretations on how they see that particular word. So do you have some features on, on the album? Oh, yeah, got, got some fire features. We got um, the bro Rick Montero. He kicks off the project with me on um, Can I Get a Witness. Rick is fire. Y'all should know. Shout out to Proclaim Clothing, yes, his yes, clothing line. Yes. That, that's been killing even longer than, than he has as a rapper in CHH. Yeah. Like his clothing line has been yeah, rocking. Yeah, we all yeah. love it. We got we got Adam on the project. Um, all things all, all, all things over to man, all, man, to right? all mankind. Yeah. Yes, all things to all mankind. And he killed Choose Your King. We did this record called yes. Choose Your King. That's a good song. Davina, once again. My wife is yeah, all over yeah, this album, yeah. y'all. If y'all, if y'all. She's supposed to be. Yeah, like. <laughs> She's supposed to be. Now, listen. What people don't know about Miss Beans over here is not only can she sing, but she can rap. Like, she's no slouch on the rap. Crazy. Like, she, she's got bars. Yeah. I feel like I apply myself in such a, like, spirit of excellence type of manner when i approach a record mm -hmm. like i don't i want I, I don't want it to just say jesus i want it to feel right. like that right. i want people to i want hip-hop heads to feel like they're listening to hip-hop right. and right. not just right. some being preached at yeah being right. preached at right. the whole time right. i'm gonna draw it's it's something i say a lot in my songs i say born in the hood raised in the church mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because that's what i am mm -hmm. like literally go to church, usher, do whatever, sing in the children's choir, come home, and I'm fighting, playing the dozens on the block. Mm -hmm. Like that's, re that's really how my childhood was for many of us. And because I know it relates to so many who have found Christ or grew up even in the church, Born in the Hood, Raised in the Church is like a mantra. And that's right. the name of the album on this Christmas. I just announced it for the first time. Nice. In this interview. Nice. Born in the Hood, Raised in the Church. Nice. Christmas Day, 2023. Nice. Raised in the Church. And, 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 you know, whatever, but, you know, for those of us that did it, right, and we, we came to the Lord a different kind of way, it, it, it resonates both ways, right? For me, it's instant, like, it's hip-hop, right? It's good stuff, right? Like I said, I don't, there's certain artists that when I get emails, I'm like, oh, I'm just, like, picking which, which ones I'm going to play. Because I already know they're going to send me some good stuff. Yes, sir. And so, and you're one of them. Um, bro, it's been an honor and a privilege to, to not only play your music, but to know you as, as, you know the way we're, we're we're building our relationship, and and it's um it's an honor, man. Like, like to me, the, to me, that's the best part. Is is the it's the hum humanity side of of life. Like I think we get caught up so much in industry things when we're trying to be something. Mm -hmm. Everybody's trying to climb a ladder mm -hmm. or something very weird for me. But God opens the doors. Yeah. I don't want to open any doors. That that's not for me to do. And and. Just the connections he's he's given me are so much bigger than music. Right. People say it, but it's it's right. I mean it. Right. Like it's so right. much bigger. And just who right. you are, the word God has placed in you, is an encouragement to me. Like you're the big bro for real. Like it's mm -hmm. not just because the amount of people that tell you they love you and stuff right. yeah, 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 in yeah, the yeah, music yeah. industry nowadays and yeah. bro and sis you to death. Don't 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 put no money on that. <laughs> <laughs> Go broke. <laughs> it, 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 it gets out of control. But but the the hood say you know real recognize real. Right, well, right. guess what? Right. Christ recognized yeah, Christ. Absolutely. Mary walked absolutely. in and her womb jumped because yeah, God absolutely. was there. Absolutely. So you're going to feel absolutely. it. Christ recognized absolutely. Christ. Absolutely. Listen, bro, I'm so proud of you. Um, again, JJ the album 
And and I'm glad we straightened out with the JJ me because uh, <laughs> that could have been really embarrassing for your boy. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to the bro Jared Hicks who did a yes. great job yes. producing this project. It's his. It was his first full length project, and he did an excellent job. That's my brother. I love him to life, like a hundred percent. And be on the lookout for him. Jared Hicks is somebody to be. He's he's stepping back into the worship world. I don't think he wants to mess with Christian hip hop. Okay. Too too much. I okay. think he's gonna get. We're gonna get some worship okay. and praise songs out of him. But okay. But we, we he, he we'll, I may we'll, bring him back out. We'll look for him. We'll yeah, look for him. We'll definitely. look for him. Listen, it's been an honor. It's been a pleasure, my brother. Um, Sunday mornings. You know how we do. Street Glory Hot ninety seven.